I'm Tom Vassell. Welcome to Look Back, where I take a look at games that I reviewed a year, five years, and ten years ago, and tell you what to think about them now. So let's go back to last year, this week. I took a look at On the Origin of Species, which is a game about finding different species, and there's different resources. There's a really cool resource system in it. Unfortunately, the game's a little more random than I like. It's okay, it just could be better. Modern Art Card Game, I took a look at the new version of this. It's so close. I actually think I like it better than Modern Art. It's Modern Art condensed down, but it's just a little too fast. It just ends a little too quickly for me. 6.5 on the Origin of Species was a 6. The Shores of Tripoli, this one I gave a 7 to. I really like this two-player game um, and, with, and this asymmetrical one. Some really neat ideas in it. The biggest problem with uh, this, which doesn't get, make it higher, is the fact that I think that after a few more plays, I'm going to say I've seen everything the game has to offer. It has some really cool stuff, some cards, neat events, very thematic, and it's a good game. Just, you know, you're going to play it maybe 10 times, I would guess. Pebble Rock Delivery Service. Another 7 out of 10. This is a kids' pickup and delivery game. Overproduced, as many of the games from this company are, but still fun, and the kids are going to really like it. Sovereign Chess. This one does not look good, but I still give this one a 7 out of 10 because it's such a cool idea. You have all these pieces, tons of plastic pieces of, different, uh, of, of your color, um, black versus white, but there's different colors on all the different sides of the boards. And when you land on a blue space, for example, you now control the blue pieces. If you're on a yellow space, you control the yellow pieces. It's just a neat way to play chess. Five years ago, I took a look at Revenge of the Dictators, which is just trash. It has a bunch of dictators, real life dictators, deciding to conquer America for some reason. They just come in in a car and go and who knows? Terrible mechanisms, terrible theme. Everything about this game is terrible, terrible, terrible. Uh, Dragonstone Mine, also a very bad game about stacking stones on top of each other. This is so bad. I remember distinctly when I taught this to some people, I then immediately taught them another game and apologies for how bad Dragonstone Mine was. So Revenge, I gave a 2 to. Dragonstone Mine, I gave a 3 to. Orcs Must Die, the board game. Based on the popular video game, Orcs Must Die. As always, these kind of things almost never work out, and it's just, it's a very, it's a tower defense style game with so many problems. Five out of ten. Carnage. This is a little attacking card game. There's a lot of things about it I like. Just a little too light, so six out of ten. Robo Rally. I took a look at the new version, even compared it to previous ones. Robo Rally is an okay game. Um... Um, I should say, okay, it's a good game. It's, it's it's great under certain circumstances, but this particular version, one from five years ago, I said was just good, 7 out of 10. Villages of Valeria, I still get them all confused as to which one is which, but this was a solid game, although I wonder if it's forgettable or not, because I had to look it up a little bit to see what it was, 7 out of 10. Carla Cat, this is, uh, there's 50 different names for this game. I'm not kidding, or more than 50. Pounce. Catch the mouse. Basically where everyone has a mouse and a string, someone rolls a number, and if it's a certain thing, you have to you put the mouse down and everyone has to pull their mice back. It's silly and funny. I really enjoy it. 7.5. And New York Slice, the remaking of Piece of Cake about pizza from Bezier Games. A really solid game. I like pizza. I think the theme works well. It's a nice solid I split you choose game. 8 out of 10. 10 years ago, this game is a not a good game. It's um, it's a collectible card game, or was. I'm not sure. They even changed the name of it. I gave it a 5 out of 10. And you're like, what are you talking about? I'm talking about Existence, where it's spelled X610Z. Existence. They actually just changed the name to Existence later on because they realized how stupid that name was. But the damage is done. It's not that great of a game, unfortunately, either. But the name, I'd give the name a 1 out of 10. The game is a 5 out of 10. Caballio from Gigamic. Uh, they look like little different color traffic cones you're putting around the board. It's a decent, not great, abstract strategy game. Six out of ten. Five straight, another terrible name with five IVE. Anyway, this is this is an old game from 1958, and it shows its age a bit. It's again, it's okay. Six out of ten. Robin Hood. Now this game eventually became Share from Nottingham which is a very highly rated game for me. This Robin Hood has a few problems with it, a few things that were changed to share for Nottingham to make it a better game, but it's still decent, seven out of 10, good game. Medina, I like the city game. It's beautiful looking, wooden blocks, uh, kind of a, 
uh, you're, you're, who's gonna who's gonna build on something first? You know, so you're like a game of chicken to some degree. Some neat concepts, and it's a gorgeous visual effect. Seven point five. City Tycoon. I also gave a seven point five, although I was like, wow. I played this game 10 years ago. I liked it. There are a lot of little tiles you place out building a city with power and stuff. But I have not played it much in between or heard much about it. Poseidon's Kingdoms is a gimmicky game with this big wave that these dice fall down onto the board and scatter across with gorgeous pieces. And it's a good game. It really is. Gimmick aside, I like Poseidon's Kingdoms. 8 out of 10. And Lifeboats. Lifeboats didn't come out 10 years ago. I just said... Some uh, nasty things about it um, because it, uh, not nasty things about it. The game is just nasty. It's nasty. You have a lifeboat. You have to throw people out. You have to pick which lifeboat springs a leak. You have to pick which lifeboat goes forward. Everyone's gonna get mad at everybody else. But if you go in knowing that, it's really entertaining. Eight out of ten. So those are the reviews I did one, five, and ten years ago. I'm Tom Basil. We'll see you next time. Yeah.